Yeah, see this is a bit difficult as of now because astronomy is never taught. Astrophysics many people are pursuing. Earlier we had a course on spherical astronomy which was a part of mathematics at least in some universities. It is a sad thing that uh, this most important and fascinating science which seems to have given birth to various other sciences because this would have been the first science which have been pursued because you want to know when the sun rises, when the sun sets and you would like to know to predict various phenomena. So, for you to keep track of time this is the only science that is available. So, a certain way for people to relate to things around them is something which has to be necessarily taught. Unfortunately, so it is not taught. See, the spherical trigonometry, spherical astronomy is a very fascinating thing and it can be easily appreciated and enjoyed with the kind of mathematics that people are studying today at the level of plus 2. It does not require much beyond that and uh, any higher thing can always be done later. But the way Indian astronomy is being taught and the kind of simple models that they have is something which can be much easily appreciated than the way this modern astronomy is handling the same problems. So, the sophistication to which you can take it depends upon or rather is directed by the accuracy with which you want to determine phenomena. But overall understanding of the phenomena is something which is very different from calculating something to 7 decimal places. So, the way it has been presented in the Indian text is a very simple model which can be much easily appreciated by any uh, student who has done some basic science up to standard 10th. But uh, phenomena as such can be explained much before, even the mathematical computations can be easily understood. So, all that they do is some recursive formula, some iteration. So, it is a very interesting thing. So, currently it is not offered as a part of any course anywhere, but for some of these Jyotisha departments which are there in these traditional Sanskrit universities. So, Jyotisha as a branch. See, the Jyotisha has two aspects. One is Ganita Jyotisha, the other is Phalita Jyotisha. So, the question that is related to astrology has to do with Phalita Jyotisha. So, a lot of people have this anxiety that what my future is going to be. So, will I be able to see that? See, this is a very natural anxiety which many people have. So, when I go to airport and sit in the lounges, so people think that I am an astrologer. So, they come and tell me, <laughs> say, sir, thoda haath deke bataiye, thoda hum patrika deke bataiye. So, even if I say that I do not know, so they do not believe because <laughs> they feel that I should be an astrologer. So, the point is there are a lot of people who want to know about their future etcetera. So, this uh, this prediction aspect which we call as Phalita Jyotisha purely depends on this Ganita part. So, this Ganita part forms the basis for this Phalita part. So, it is like this uh, looking at the graph is only Phalita part. So, Ganita part is generating this graph and analyzing this graph etcetera. This part is to be studied, but unfortunately what has happened is most people resort to Phalita part because that is much simpler. So, this is real challenging task see to understand this much deeply. So, today we have a computer program which will generate this and based on that you will be able to do this. So, the problem today is so this solid background which is essential for you to appreciate the Ganita part is not built even in those departments where it is supposed to be built. So, because the tradition is somewhat declining where people are willing to put enough efforts and bright minds are getting into it. 
So, this is a problem. On the other hand, it is easy to introduce some elements of this in the current curricula in various levels at various levels at the school level you can introduce something college level you can introduce something and the university level also you can introduce something and i strongly feel that it has to be done for people to simply appreciate so when you say eclipse what is happening i don't know grahana so a simple model by which you explain school student will understand you need not compute it. So, this is a fascinating science which should be definitely introduced and there are some textbooks which are being authored by some people. Uh, so, for instance, even uh, there is uh, some elementary textbooks have been written down by a person called Balachandra Rao, Professor Balachandra Rao here. But uh, more number of textbooks have to be authored at various levels in order to introduce this subject. And uh, the distinction should be brought out as to how this is different from other things. See, this is just to appreciate, see, not to boast. See, that is a different thing. See, so just to appreciate how it is very different, that itself is a very fascinating thing. So, as scientists, so we need to know certain things. So, this will generate the inquisitiveness in the person, but the inquisitiveness cannot be answered today because this is completely taken away and some abstract things are being introduced which are not generally appreciated see and therefore, people lose some interest. I am not saying abstract should not be introduced. Those who are adept in understanding abstract things, let them go, but those who are not adept, so they should have something which they can very easily understand and appreciate.